Welcome to the Channel 15 broadcast tonight from the Hinchy Gymnasium here at West Rutland High School. Fun night for the benefit of the Varsity Girls Basketball Program. John Center, one nine, and West Rutland Breaking Gymnasium. Pete Galligan along with Bob Smolinski bringing you all the play-by-play -play for Channel 15. Quite an enthusiastic crowd here this evening. Yes, it seems as though the uh, <coughs> people from West Rutland really do come out for this particular event. A good thing, looks like everybody's here anticipating another night. All this wouldn't be possible without the support of everybody. I mean everybody, from the fans to the, to the teams. It's just a great show of uh, community support. Last year I went around like a maniac trying to get all the prizes myself, and this year I didn't even want it out. The girls uh, went out themselves. And there's quite a list of sponsors here. And although it's lengthy, I'd like to go over it just quickly because these people that donate these prizes are what really makes this thing a fun event. They're in no particular order, but uh, here it goes. Phil, Sleepy Hollow Breakfast Shop at the Days Inn, uh, Mike McGann, Jones's Donuts, Born Beautiful, Close Quarters, Van Allen, Loops, Village Pizza, Little Caesars, Central Vermont Motorcycles, Showcase Video, Johnson's Energy, Pat's Sporting Goods, Carvey's Restaurant, Pepsi TV, Chet Brown, Special Effects Hair Salon, Westside Press, Catholic State College, Westway Cinema, A&J Allen, Stewart, Mrs. Arzell, Savarnes, Michael, Panda Pavilion, S.E. Smith, Foot Locker, Hallmark, Boss Red, Cinema North, Mr. C's, Ice House, Beer King. I'll tell you what, the list goes on and on. People just love to get involved in this event. Uh, I just want to remind the teams tonight, uh, we're doing the most popular team trophy again. Hopefully the teams will go out. Don't forget. Uh, the, the great part of this thing is we're here for the kids. And that's the only reason we're here. Teams go out, have fun. Try not to get too awful competitive. Remember that, remember that fun. If you get too big of a league, we'll probably call a technical on you. I had the executive power tonight. I've got a whistle. I can make a call from anywhere. So if I see something, I call No matter them. what the situation, John, always. Carries that whistle to work, I understand. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. The best MC in Vermont, our own Pat, the Rampage. Okay, before we get the introductions to the team, would you please rise for the national anthem? You got your shirt to wear.
Fast Bangle Banner. Medium or large? Medium. Okay. Now, for the faculty roster. Getting ready for game one in tonight's basketball fun night here at the West Rutland Gymnasium. The kids were told that they didn't show up for this event tonight. They, they said they were small as hell. They would all have zero. Huh? It's small. Okay. We start off with Michelle Rockman and Dufour. Michelle Dufour, the starting lineup for the West Rutland teachers this evening. Liz Cronin, one of the best ball handlers in last year's game, should be giving lots of competition to the West Rutland Town officials tonight. Wait a minute, this isn't a soccer game. Todd Stickney, an alumna from West Rutland High School, teacher here, his ed instructor, health educator. Don the Tudor Terrell, I heard that. Yes. There's the Mickey, the legend. There he is, the one, the only. Absolutely. Eddie Elbow Bowl. Eddie Bowl, a fantastic athlete in his own day. This guy's got Rick, whole lot of heart. Rick Hart. Great ball handler. Yes, he is. Should be setting up some plays tonight's Ryan, game. No plays to Hartman. <laughs> no show. <laughs> Matt, the Kramer. Matt Kramer on the lineup tonight. Brian Crash Watson. Matt Looks and like. Brian were excellent ball players when they were here in school. Yes, they were. Well, this looks like this might get beyond just a fun game, Bob. Some serious competitors out there. I don't know if, if that's a lollipop in that uh, ball player's mouth or not. It's starting to look like Muscle Beach out there. Yes, it does. still looking <laughs> well, that certainly clinches it. <laughs> there she is. The one, the only. The person who answers the phone as soon as you call the University of West Rutland, Jody Pojasa. You have a question, she has the answer. She sure does. Kerry Kors. Kors in the starting lineup for the West yeah. Rutland Town officials. Look at him. I hope they pay for him 110 bucks. Robert hey, Bobby 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 Bobby. 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 Bob Garrick, one of the big factors in last year's game. <laughs> Richard slowed down a little bit this year, Peter. It, it looks like he has. Although I heard rumors, Bob, of some secret practices during this week. I'm not sure if the town officials really were working this week or practicing out there. I don't know. We'll have to talk with Jane about that. <laughs> Robert Checker Parkman. <laughs> he didn't expect that checker park. No, he didn't you know. expect that, but he looks ready <laughs> anyway. There she is. There's Coach Pat. <laughs> well, we got assistant Red here on the bench. <laughs> Yeah. 
Who's the official? For those people who are not sure, uh, Carrie Kors is Paul Kulik's uh, stepdaughter. And Dick Densmore! Dick Densmore, he looks like he's ready to call a technical already, and the game hasn't even started yet. <laughs> he has his he whistle looks, ready. He looks real serious. He does. Sure does. He may have watched that uh, video of last year's tournament, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> on probably, how to officiate. Yes. <laughs> or how not to, I'm not sure. <laughs> I want to play both of these games tonight with a, as a tribute to two great men that helped me get this uh, whole idea off the ground last year. Unfortunately, he can no longer be with us. And I'm talking about Mr. Bruce Nelson from Channel 15 and the great Joe Crowley that last year when the team was close to, it was tied at the last minute and tells the timeout to find the play and the rotary uh, puts it in for the winning hoop. So uh, these two great men will be sadly missed by this now and the surrounding communities. It certainly is uh, nice of John to dedicate this particular evening and this game to those two individuals who are certainly sadly missed. Uh, they certainly are, Bob. Joe Crawley was with us as a member of our Rotary Club for a number of years, and he was president of the club and did a good job. Everybody loved him, very outgoing man, knew many people, especially in the area of sports. He was the area in many, many ways. Yes, he was. I can still remember Bruce Nelson giggling when Gigi and I were doing the play-by-play -play last year. He seemed to get quite a kick out of uh, this duo that was uh, attempting to describe what people Just talk right through here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is it working now? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, Good. Can, Eddie Bow with a tip-off. Rick Hart with a steal, bringing it up for the West Rutland teachers. These guys are looking real serious. They are tonight. looking serious. Yes. We are in game one of our double header tonight. The second annual basketball fun night here at West Rutland High School Gymnasium. Jane Pratt with the rebound to Bob Garrett. Bob takes the ball down very cautiously, looking around to see where his best shooters are. Over to Paul Kulik. Kulik under the boards, not sure. No, it What's up? And looks like a fall. Big Densmore quick on the whistle. Yeah, out of bounds. Went to uh, I think we should call these select people instead of select men. <laughs> That's that right. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Kennedy with that rebound. And it's spoiled by the Paul. West Rutland Town officials. Paul. Jane Pratt with some great handwork. That's it. Yeah. Nice to Michelle Dufour has got it. Bobby Kennedy. Over to Liz. Inbounded to Rick Hart. Up and oh, oh. no good. Fancy hook shot. No good. Paul Kulik with the rebound to Bob Garrett. Bob Garrett bringing the ball up. Teams are getting themselves positioned. I remember Bob. last year Bobby Garrett getting hassled by a gorilla. <laughs> Didn't see that gorilla around here yet, but uh, I do remember she did a good job. She was limping noticeably, but she was trying. <laughs> All right. In for two, and 6.38 left in the first period here of game one. The town officials are on the boards. Eddie Bove in for, oh, <laughs> tried his own rebound. One more time. Oh, Good. it's up for two. Yes. Oh, he should have a field day, Eddie. Town officials conserving their energy. Whoa, oh, look little, at that. A little, little help from uh, Oh, they counted that one. <laughs> Looks like it was two points and a fall besides. <laughs> Ripped the guy's thing off. <laughs> they convert for a three-point play. Five. <laughs> 
Six minutes left in the first period here. Game one of our doubleheader. Town officials leading five to two. Liz Cronin drives. Oh, wow, she certainly did. Right up the key. Bobby Kennedy into Rick Hart. And a great pass inside. Back up nice, to Rick Hart and nice in for two. Play. Nice play. Faculty are catching up 5 4. Paul Cooley bringing the ball inbound. Over to Bobby Garrick. Whoa, all the oh, way from downtown. Shot. Nice shot. <laughs> John Center looks dangerous over there. He does. The he looks like he's a foul yeah. waiting to happen. <laughs> Liz does a good job putting some pressure on. She seems to have a lot of energy. Yes, she does. Oh, nice fake. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Ricard bringing the ball inbound for the West Rutland teachers. Bounce pass to Liz Cronin. Liz with some real fancy dribbling. Over to Eddie Bove. Nobody home. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice shot from the corner. Two big ones. Close game so far, seven to six. We have quite a cheering section over here, Bob. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Bobby Garrick over to Jane Pratt and inside. Wow, some great wow, plays in tonight's game. Timeout. Coach Poljasic calls a timeout and says, get over here. 404 left in the first period with the town officials leading 9 to 6. There's no holding. There's no stopping him. Of course, George is going to do the coaching this year for the Rotary Club. And, uh, we're going to have George wired so that uh, when they do call timeout and he gives those fantastic instructions to his players, we'll be able to listen in on it. So George, you gotta, you gotta be aware of that fact that we're going to be listening because you're gonna be wired. That's right, That's he's right. wired already. I'm very fortunate that I got Tony Tumalevich was my assistant, also selectman and constable John Flory is gonna help me out. There you go, you can't get a better team than that. Dan Pratt and Joe Baker now in for the town officials team. <laughs> Carrie Kors is in for the town officials too. There she is. There she corner. goes from outside. Nice. <laughs> Tap in, Bobby yes. Parkman. Bobby Parkman. I think Eddie both helped that one then. <laughs> Don't tell Bob. <laughs> Rick Hart with a layup, no good. Dan Pratt with a rebound. <laughs> John Center with an immediate call on that out of bounds play. John was there. John is sharp. He's on the ball all the time. He has the whistle. I think yeah. he has the biggest whistle here. Okay, now we got it. Eddie Bove inside. Oh, I think NFL. there was a fall there. Looked like Dick Daly might have been involved in that play. Yeah, Dick Daly did fall in that time. Did fall her, yes. We, we need to make a recommendation for next year's game to have jerseys with numbers on them because then it'd be a lot easier to identify the jerseys and names. Yeah, names would even be better. Forget <laughs> the numbers. Well, it's getting bigger. At least the West Rutland Rotary can't be crazy. They haven't got the numbers, but they got West Rutland Rotary on their shirt. All the same know who's who. That's good, George. Show me your shirt, Bob. A sharp blue shirt. Oh, that's excellent. Yellow West Rutland Rotary International that's decal the, on. That is the Rotary colors, blue and gold. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oneida t-shirts, power tees. 
Matt Kramer is bringing the ball inbound for the nice ball. great ball pass. pass. Over this. <laughs> Except I think Tosh traveled a little 10 bit. 10 or 20 steps, who was counting? Yeah. If he knows the pros, they take more steps than that and don't get called. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh, Kramer's with a steal. Kramer's. Yeah, Dick <laughs> Daly steals it right, right on back. the ball. Down the ball to Parkman. Over his head the Joke. other way. Bob, the basket is a little to your left. <laughs> Mickey Caligiuri. Easy, soft, one-hander, but Bobby's right there to get the rebound. <laughs> It's like Kelly Jerry putting on the full court press. Yeah, Dick's still not a bad ball handler. Well, I think he was passing that one to uh, one of the officials. Kind of thought Bob was going a little faster to catch that. Oh, oh yeah. He looks bigger this year than last year. Nicky's, Nicky's doing a good job of passing off to the yeah. kids. Brian Glossick with the ball over to Matt Kramer. Is Kramer is through the key, in for layup. There it is, two. two points, nice drive. Nice drive. Dan Bratt. 2.09 left in the first period. 11-10, that's right. Yeah, they did, yeah. Little miscue there under the boards. That was a koozie yes. pass by Dick Daly. <laughs> but Co Coach Pat McGann's going to probably have to take that team over here on the sideline and, and uh, give them some critique of Kramer's for three, Glossick yeah, up with a tap in. And a lot of action for that rebound. There. It's a war out there. He got sandwiched in between those two gals and they made sure that he wasn't going to get that ball to himself. Dawn Twinkletoes Terrell out there now for the West Rutland teachers. Nice shot. Wow. Tosh Stickney for two. Right into I think the Joe Bra Baker's watching this broadcast. He's not really in the game. Stickney in again for two. For two. And the teachers are ahead now, 111 left in the first period, and the teachers from West Rutland ahead 14 to 11. Bob Checker Parkman from way outside. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, looked good. He was in the next county somewhere, Bob. Well, he followed up his own rebound, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mickey uh, Kelly are, Jerry with that one. Things are getting He's driving real. hard oh, over to Don nice. Terrell. Nice hand up. Logic with a rebound. There's Tosh again. Yeah, two. Six points in the last minute for Tosh. <laughs> 16 to 11. Teachers are ahead. 37 seconds to go in the first period. And the game is getting interesting. It certainly is. There's your niece. I didn't see her there. Sure. We're seeing some very interesting plays as this game gets underway. First period, the West Rutland teachers 16 and the town officials 11. Just a little tidbit of information, not to sound biased, but Carrie Course is, of course, my niece too. No bias at all, Bob. None, none whatsoever. This is a great event, of course. We're at basketball fun night here at the uh, Hinchy Gymnasium at West Rutland High School, and it's all to benefit the Varsity Girls Basketball Program, the second annual event of this kind, and quite a turnout here in West Rutland tonight. Doubleheader action, tonight's first game, the West Rutland teachers against the town officials, followed by tonight's varsity game, the West Rutland Rotary against the Red Hot That's West husband. Rutland Fire Department. <laughs> Paul Kulik brings it two points closer, and it's 14 to 16, teachers. Mike Senegal in now for the teachers. Bobby Garrick inbound. Over to Dick Daly. It's up, and it's not quite good. Brian Blazek bringing it down for the teachers. Over to Kramer, is broken up by Bobby Garrick. 
And that's the end of the first quarter. It's a great basketball with the teachers ahead now by one bucket, 16 to 14. We are at the West Rutland High School Gymnasium for the second annual basketball fun night. Game one of our doubleheader featuring the West Rutland town officials against the West Rutland teachers. The teachers leading by just two points, 16-14. For the uh, benefit of the audience, the Pat Lawhan is calling off uh, ticket numbers. What happened is they selling raffle tickets. Uh, a number of individuals went out and solicited prizes uh, to be raffled off here. And of course, all the benefits again are going to the West Rutland uh, Varsity Girls Basketball Team. And we have a winner. They've done a great job, John Center and the crew of the West Rutland Boosters Club, soliciting prizes for tonight's event. It's one of the things when we have a microphone on, Bob, we can't benefit from all those prizes. That's the truth. Well, can't tell which number they're calling. Uh, some of us give a lot of sacrifice. <laughs> Dick Dave. Rebound from Eddie Bove as the teachers bring the ball in now, second period. The teachers are leading 16-14. Ricard looking for an opening. Almost. Paul Kulik. Oh, it is now. Paul Kulik with a rebound over to Bob Garrick. Bob brings it up slow. I thought it was a good idea. For 100 bucks, what the hell? Yeah. You think it's a good idea, right? Sure. Sure, sure. Under the boards. As long as we don't get oh, the play is Alex broken and Bob up. bowling, we'll be all right. Alex and Frank. Yeah. And Dave Hunt is now in for the West Rutland teachers. Bobby Garrick all alone. Nice fake. And in for two. Tie ball game, 6.50 left now in the second period. 16-16. Ricard on the way down. Yeah. Mike Senegal in. With right here next to me, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like he was called on the way in. Give it certainly did. In, <laughs> Jack Rogers with a call. Mike Senegal will be shooting for the West Rutland teachers. Two shots. First one in and out. You got one more chance to redeem himself. I heard you all in Woodstock. Yeah, but the uh, guns, the guns, the how you doing? The city fire department got five players. The city police department's got five players. Bobby Garrick bringing the ball inbound now for the town. Selectman into Dick Daly. He's held nice in there, move. but how nice did he do that? Dick Daly. I think he just bounced some of those players right <laughs> off of him, and I won't say how he did it. Ricard in for two. Nice shot. Tie nice. ball game now. Driving layup. 18 to 18. Paul Kulik brings it up for the uh, select people. Ricard losing that rebound. Paul picks it back up. And back over to Dick Daly. Dave Hunt really putting on a press there. <laughs> so what I had. Looks like Richard's trying to come up with some type of formula to uh, get the right arch on that ball. I think he is. Bobby Garrick up again. And Eddie Bove with a rebound. Ooh. Bove really <laughs> pouring it on for the teachers. Showed one. Oh, look at that pass into Mike Senegal. No good. Dick with the rebound. We've got two players now. Now they're covered. Bobby Garrett, and he was falling. Timeout being called by the uh, select people, persons. 
Select persons, people? I don't know. A select few. A select few. <laughs> They've been selected. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> John, John Center said that he's got over $1,000 worth of prizes he picked up from merchants around the area to give out tonight. Yeah. That sounds like John. He's a real hustler. He certainly is. He indicated that uh, a lot of people helped him out this year in soliciting those prizes. And I had a chance to peek at them as I came in. And he certainly does have uh, some nice things to be raffled off. Hopefully we can uh, get a lot of I people carry, in here to buy tickets and I help carry, support this cause. And maybe they can even get some of their money back by winning a, a thing or two to take home. And the number is... Seven, seven, six, three, three, three. I notice the further into this game we get, the more timeouts we have. Well, that uh, happens when you uh, <laughs> allow the elderly here to play on That's the right. basketball court. Well, we have some young fans here tonight. I see Jenna Smith walking across the back of the court. Never too early to start. Never too early to get the fans. And, and, uh, I know Jenna's a big basketball fan, although she's only about two feet tall. <laughs> she certainly is a cute one. <laughs> Jenna's coming over to help us out in the announcing booth here at Channel 15. Yes, she is. Seven, seven, six, one, three, all. 518 left in the half with the ball game tied now between the West Rutland teachers and the West Rutland town officials. Eight or make that 19 to 18. 1918. Ball shot is up and missed. Derrick in for the rebound. Yes. There, finally. 21 to 18. Town officials ahead. They're very aggressive under that uh, under the boards tonight, Bob. But clean. Yeah, very clean. A beautiful driving <laughs> layup by Liz Cronin made it look so easy. I know, it makes Especially me so aggravated. With all those big guys around her, she just bam, throws it in. Turnaround shot, rebound from Bobby Kennedy. Over to Brian Glodzik. Brian with some nice ball handling. Oh, Over to in and out. That's kind of a walk-in rebound there. I don't Bob Garrick over to Paul Kulik. Paul up with the jump shot. Missed. Bobby Kennedy. Liz Cronin. She is some ball handler. Yes, she is. She makes it look so easy, and she's extremely comfortable in doing it. Matt Kramers will take it out for the teachers. Into Michelle. Back to Matt. Matt Kramer is fake. Oh, I think drew the foul on that one. Yes, he did. Maybe he was the fouler. It appears that way as the town officials now inbounding the ball. Bobby Garrick bringing it up. With the town officials ahead, 21-20, a very close matchup tonight in game one of our doubleheader. Little bit of travel there. Suitcase. Eight or nine steps, but who's <laughs> counting? <laughs> Only the referees. <laughs> Was Cronin inbounding the ball with a bro play broken up? Broken by Paul Kulig. Over to Jane Pratt. Jane Pratt. Jane's on her way down. That's as far as she's getting. Back to Paul Kulig. Broken up by Brian Glodzik and Missed missing the layup. The layup. Robert Garrett slows things down. Over to Jane Pratt, back to Bob, looking for Paul in the key. Shoot it. Uh oh. Well, we have some serious substitutions now, Bob. Mickey Calajeri back in the game. 
<laughs> it's serious with Mickey back in there. <laughs> Dog like Terrell. The, looks like the teachers mean business now. They're going to start handing out detention any moment now. <laughs> that might be one of Jody's secret plays. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think Chuck gave her the authority. Chuck Mimo, the principal, gave her the authority. Stegney really putting the pressure on. Yeah. Oh, nice drive. That girl does not quit. No, she does not. Yes. Wow. All right. All right. right. That's real hustle right there. Yes, it sure the is. The girls seem to be hustling quite a bit more than the fellas. Good follow-up. <laughs> Mark. 240 left in the half. 22-21, the teachers just ahead in this. Great steal there. Bobby Garrick doing oh, his best on defense. Back Over pass. to Grant. That was a good pass. Beautiful behind-the-back pass. Peter, did you catch that I one? certainly did. That was gorgeous. Great moves on behalf of the West Rutland teaching squad. That was Michelle Dufour. Michelle did a nice job with that. Very aggressive under those boards. Yes, she is. I wonder if those teachers were out there practicing during their preparation of free periods this past week. <laughs> I have a feeling there were a lot of secret practices going on this week. I think so. Brother. I heard the fire department was seen here earlier this week. Uh, and I don't think they were doing drills. Depends on what kind of drills we're talking about here, Peter. <laughs> Layup you know, drills, three-pointer drills. Well, uh, well, then they were fired. Three, seven, nine. Seven, seven, six. Three, seven, Jack Rogers and Dick Densmore doing the officiating for game one. Giving the uh, early arrivals some good choices on those tickets before everybody comes in and getting a chance on them. Yes. Yes, people who are here already are getting a, a real good opportunity to win on those raffles. And I think right now this game is just probably a half hour old, and already we have more people, I think, than we did all last year right now. Yep. There's a great crowd here tonight. Good attendance, and they're still coming in. Still coming in, getting ready for the big game. For the big game, George says. <laughs> the big game is right. Game two featuring the West Rutland Rotary and the West Rutland Fire Department, which will follow this game. Matt Graymars is on the fall line here. Misses the rebound, bounced around, and fought for between Dan Pratt and Stickney. Tosh Stickney, yes. She's a hustler, that girl right there. She's a she's a good ball player, yeah, George. She is. Bob Parkman. Oh, over to Checker. What is she hustling? Checker to Mr. She's, Baker. She's all over everybody all the time. She don't let anybody get away from her. Whoa, cross court pass intercepted. Terrell, nicely. she's really moving. Over to yeah. Mickey Calagiri now. Long Whoa, pass. Long pass. Over Dave to Dave Hunt's Hunt. got it. It's up. Block. It's short. Blocked nicely, and Dan Pratt gets the rebound to carry course. Mr. Whoa, Baker is about ready to fall. Stickney breaking oh, up that long pass. Play. Nice yeah, one, Taj. Yeah. We're going to play this game in half court. <laughs> Ah, Stickney again. She just doesn't give up. No, she doesn't. She is very aggressive. A lot of energy. Mike Senegal in on that play. Broken up by the West Rutland Town officials. And a long shot. Looked as though they all wanted to have that whistle blow for a little bit of a break time here. <laughs> Dick Daly. Trying to get suited up here with that yellow jersey. Becky Calagiri now over to Mike Senegal. Oh, look good. Bob Parkman uses that height to pull down that rebound. Dan Pratt inbounding the ball. He's passing to someone. Bob Parkman again over to Dick Daly. Dick's trying to fake. Oh, he's going for three. Well, not quite right there. Through. Mickey pulls down the rebound. Calajari's going to go oh, all right the way. The defense. Yes, two points. Made it look easy, Bob. Good drive, Mickey. Smooth. 
Less than a minute to go now in the first half. Yeah. Connor's right back. Tie ball game, 26 all now. Mickey Calagiri bringing the ball in for the West Rutland teachers. Over to Dave Hunt. Dave and blocked. I think Dave thought that might have been a pass. I think somebody missed something. Dick Densmore, <laughs> is he awake? John Center, John called right it. on top of that play. <laughs> I think anybody's going to call it for a minute. <laughs> well, I kind of hope that they didn't call it, yeah. George, to be honest with you, but nothing gets by the evil eye of John Center. Mickey Caligiuri up to Dave Hunt. Five no seconds now, the first half. Ten and seconds left. Dan Pratt with seven four, seconds. Four Over and to Gary will they make it in time? Shoot it! Daly's got it. No, it was just a little bit late. And at the end of the half, it's the West Rutland Teachers 26 and the West Rutland Town Officials 26. Excellent game. Yeah. If you're just joining us, we are broadcasting on Rutland Cable 15 from West Rutland Cinchy Gymnasium. Pete Galligan along with Bob Smolinski calling the play-by-play. -play. And Bob, once again, we have quite a crowd here tonight in West Rutland as the West Rutland teachers are taking on the West Rutland town officials. Game one of our doubleheader with a tie score. Very hard-fought first half, 26-26 as we get ready to start the second half. And the crowd keeps coming in, Peter. Yes, they do. He's got that on camera. He's got that on camera. Very familiar looking clown out there, Bob. As a matter of fact, I think it's the limp that's helping to identify who that may possibly be. Yes, they loved her as the gorilla. Yes, they did. Uh, Eddie Bove still remembers how to dance, too. Not bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, so does the clown lady. Just, just because the hair left, it doesn't necessarily mean that the memory did. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be far away when Eddie hears that last comment. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start the car right now. And I'll Stuart shot. An Easter clown, that's an interesting idea. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And giving the little children candy. <laughs> I can remember when Mom was a little girl that size. Patty Yankowski, a long time ago. We're getting ready for second half action, and the clown is out there. I'm not sure which team she is playing for. Two clowns. Okay, one more before we get started. Real friendly handshake going on here on the sidelines <laughs> between uh, Dick Daly and Michelle DeFore. Three, six, one. Clowns giving candy out and causing some uh, lots of prizes being given away this evening here in West Redland. It's time to start the second hand. Jack Rogers is patiently bouncing that ball. We have a winner. Bobby Garrick inbounding the ball for the West Rutland Town officials looking for an opening. Over to Dick Daly. Looks like there's a press on here. Daly up for nice three. Shot. Oh, beautiful shot. But well, they gave him two. Well. I think we have some jelly beans on the floor. 
There, invisible ones at that. <laughs> Matt Kramer is for the teacher up and misses. Bob Garrick with the rebound over to Dick Daly. Dick back to Bob. Looks like the teachers are going to try to put a little press on, but there uh, goes Daly. Town officials get it over the line. Oh, Matt, Matt Kramer intercepts nicely. Drives Into all Brian the way Dawson down. Again, stuffed. Think there may have been a travel. Whoop! Oh, wait a minute. The clowns got the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of whistling going on. Did she take John Centers from, from one clown to another there? No, I didn't say that, did I? Yes, she did. She stole John's whistle. And she just lost her ears. The GE <laughs> number. I'm worried about John. Well, he seems to be wandering out there aimlessly. Seven, seven, six, Although it appears those uh, two fans over there standing up just about as high as his waist to probably keep him straight tonight. <laughs> be able to put him in the right direction. This guy keeps winning everything. Dick Daly over to Paul Kulig. Kulig up for an easy layup. Under the basket for two. 30 to 26. 7-10 left in the third period. Brian Godzik, two points. Beautiful shot from the outside. 30-29 now. Dick Daly to Paul Cooley. We have an Almost a steal by Kramer. He's inbounded to Bob Parkman. Parkman up, no good. Kramer's with a rebound. Kramer's nice drive all the way down. Up and misses it. Rick Hart drawing a foul. Yes, he did. Rick appears to be in real good shape, Peter. He certainly does. He does a great job coaching here at West Rutland School. And I have a feeling he's worked with these teachers all this week. He may be the driving force. John Center is out there to make sure that he doesn't step over the line. He doesn't bring it over. Oh, Bove with a rebound. And he draws a foul. Wait a minute. What kind of basketball is that? Oh, looks like a third man on the team here. Maybe they're playing their own game, Peter. I'm I think sure. they are. They're in their own little world out yeah. there. Should we make an appointment for them in the office? <laughs> no. Tie game. All I can say is our sewing machine is still cooling off, Bob. <laughs> Eddie Bull missed that second shot, and the uh, town officials came up with the rebound. Tie ball game, 627 now, left in the third period, 30 to 30. Bob Parkman, Parkman in. Matt Kramers with a good rebound. Over to Rick Hart. Inbounded to Brian Glossick, and it is Two in. points, Brian from the outside. Nice shot. Three pointer for Brian. All right, they gave him three, finally. Paul Kulik to Bob Parkman. Intercepted by Brian Glodzik. Whoa, nice pass, nice pass over to, to Michelle. Michelle. John Center gets in the way. Michelle sets from the corner. No Rick Hart good. with a rebound. Over to Bobby Garrick. Lots of room in the key. Wow, how did he get up for two and draw as a foul? Took a suitcase along with him, too, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Little travel that they didn't catch, but that's okay. It was just a short trip. Yes, it was. Fall was committed before the trip, I think. Make it a three-point conversion. Nice yes. shot nice by Garrick. Shot by. We should have instructed Gigi to do the statistical analysis uh, for us post. tonight. Huh? We're running a low post on that. Because I, uh, I think Bobby probably has got a pretty good percentage going. He does. He's had some outstanding plays. Run a low post. Nice interception by Dennis Lincoln. Lost his glasses. All set. 
It's a clown at center court. Passing a miniature basketball, but nobody on the receiving end. Geez, I was just going to say you shouldn't call Dick Daly a clown, but then I did look up and see the <laughs> clown there. I'm sorry about that. He's Dick. talking about the one with the redder of the two noses. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> now I know which one. <laughs> oh. Kramer's oh, rebound. Woo! Nice drive. Misses the shot. Paul Kulig with the rebound. Over to Bobby Garrick. We have a winner. And Rick Hart putting on lots of defensive pressure. Dick, Dick Daly, Daly holding running out. across. Now it's getting a little redder. We're going to have more difficult. John Center's got it. Yes. Wait a minute. Who's he playing for? He's going in all directions. It's over to the clown oh. now. The clown doing a great no job. No one can dribbling. hold on to it. <laughs> Eddie Bove comes up with it. Nice. Oh, in and in out. And Bove out. trying to get his own rebound. Goes out of bounds. Town officials ball. Over to Paul Kulik. Long pass to Dennis Lincoln. Dennis up with it and misses. Nice rebound from Eddie Bove. Over to Liz Cronin. She Almost. is a great ball handler. Over to Rick Hart. They're setting up their play. Hart in for two. Two points. Good drive, Rick. Thirty-five, thirty-four, with four minutes left in the third period. Game one of our doubleheader from West Rutland High School. West Rutland teachers taking on the town officials. Good Matt steal. Kramar is with a steal. <laughs> He's sliding Claude. in for that one. Well, he got a little confused between baseball and basketball. I call, you know, I call him safe. Yep, yeah, we're close to that season anyway. Ah, substitution time. Don Terrell, Mickey Caligiri, and Tosh Stickney coming Here in. Here comes the A-team. Okay, we have uh, another two breakfast giveaway. It's like Danny Pratt's in for town officials. And I hope someone I Joe Baker. Going to a man-to-man -man defense. I think we've se seen better quality of play this year, Bob. Yes, we have, as a matter of fact. More organized plays. Uh, very clean game, though. Exceptionally clean game. It's a great turnout tonight here in West Rutland. As this event benefits the West Rutland girls varsity basketball program. Don Terrell out to Bobby Kennedy. Over to Stickney. And Liz Cronin takes the ball up for almost two. Garrick with a rebound. Garrick over to Dan Pratt. Back to Garrick. Over to Joe Big. Bob Parkman. Parkman moving in up. for a long one. Just missed. Paul Kulig with a rebound. Clown almost had that rebound. Garrick trying for three, and Bobby Kennedy takes that rebound. That play was broken up by Paul Kulik. He's played a lot of ball tonight. And, uh, he's doing an exceptionally good job. Actually, you've got to give both teams credit. I mean, they're playing against a handicap with two additional... Uh, <laughs> That's right. Players, if you want, in their own league. I'm not sure who is who. We have one clown with a green collar and one with a gold collar. And neither of them can hang on to that miniature basketball. Well, but they're doing their best. They're, they're, they're back playing football. And I think you know, if they just moved over, they'd, they'd be fine. Paul Kulik with the Almost outside in shot. For no three. Good. Mickey Caligari now. Over to Kennedy. Back out to Caligari into Stickney. Off the rim. Stickney Rebound Stickney. Own. Back out to Kennedy. And Look. in for two. Oh, nice shot. The teacher's ahead now, 37 34, with two minutes left in the third period. Danny Pratt over to Bob Garrick. Oh, John Center. Must be a special call. Bobby Garrick's got to be thinking about what the gorilla did to him last year. 
or sexual harassment. You, you can't be that close. He's gonna want to. He's gonna want to date. That's what the call was: sexual harassment. <laughs> I knew it was a technical of some kind. The, the first time that a sexual harassment call has been made in a basketball game. And ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here for the first time at West Rutland High School Hinchy Gymnasium. In color. You don't believe how quick you're in Mickey Calajari unhappy with that call. That was sexual harassment. You're not supposed to hear me. You've got to watch the TV if you want to hear me. Paul Kulik with one from the fall line. Jack Rogers gives it back to Paul, up with a shot, good. Nice Kulik good having an exceptionally good game. Jane Pratt just came in for Paul Kulik. Long pass down to the corner, Jerry Hangs on to it somehow. Carey Course gives them a hard Works it time. inside, Stickney in for two. 39-36 in favor of the teachers. 136 left in the third period. Bruce Atkinson. For the town officials, good shot. Tie ball game now, 39 apiece with 120 left in the ball, or not in the ball game in period three. Liz Cronin up with a shot under the boards and good. Jane Pratt not going very far. Back to Dan. Hubby Dan was there. And out of bounds. Where was he? Brian Blazik taking it out over to Mickey Caligiuri. Long pass Long down pass. court to Don Terrell. Don up misses. Tosh with the rebound up misses. And Brian Blazik <laughs> got the rebound. Little help from his friends there. Absolutely. With that left hand. Jane Pratt inbounding the ball now for the town officials. We have Over to Bruce Less than a minute now. Left in period three. To Danny Pratt. We have a stewards gift certificate for our kids. Dan over to Bruce. Soda. Bruce is heavily guarded by Mickey Caligiuri. John Terrell. Yes, she. Looked like she was uh, sprinting on that one. Well, she broke up that play. Seven, seven, six. Zero, Ooh, look, looks like she's a little angry at Mr. Densmore. <laughs> Even angrier with a clown who's rubbing in that call a little bit. Tosh looks pretty intense here. <laughs> there we go. Now we have the real inbound pass coming up. Over to Bruce Atkinson from the corner. He's up with a shot. Oh, misses. Brian Blodzik behind the back, some fancy oh, dribbling again. Passes off to Tosh Stickney up for the layup, and there's two, 45 to 39 in favor of the faculty. Jane Pratt in for nice two. Shot. All right, Jane. The third period ends in a tie ball game, 45-45, as we go into the final Good period game. here at West Rutland Gymnasium. Good game. Fantastic game. Game two following this game featuring the West Rutland Fire Department and the West Rutland Rotary Club. That promises to be quite a hard-fought battle, Bob. Well, I, I hope it is a hard-fought battle and a close battle and uh, a clean battle this year. I'm sure it's going to be. The West Rutland Rotary Club has brought in some additional help in the form of their spouses or spices, whichever way you want to put it. Uh, husbands have asked some of the wives if they would play, and the wives who are members of Rotary Club have asked their husbands. So we ought to see uh, a fantastic game, and uh, fortunately the Rotary Club will have a number of people to shift in and out of this game so they won't get overtired. Well, that helps when you're over 29. As a matter of fact. And, of course, over 50, they bench you. So that's why we've got the uh, earphones on tonight and doing the broadcasting of the game. Medical timeout, they call a it. Absolutely. For some reason or other, I think my wife had something to do with this, although she still indicates that she's innocent. <laughs> innocent, that is, of making sure I'm on the sidelines. Of course. Of course. 
Actually, there's a pretty active group of individuals, adults in the community, that uh, do play ball. There the clown is. I know Marcy's born. Nicky Caligiri over to Brian Glodzik from the corner. He sets off the rim. Mike Senegal with a rebound. And in for two. For the teachers. 47-45, we're in the fourth period now, final period of this first game. Danny Pratt slowly bringing that ball up, shoots and misses. Out of bounds, teacher's ball. Long pass, intercepted, broken up by Carey Course. Shell Dufault taking the ball out over to Brian Glazik. Oh, drives nice in for two play. points. Looked pretty. Jane Pratt. Jane Pratt. The win. We have a win. Uh oh, Coach Jody Pujasic is up here trying to straighten out the officials. That's a full-time job in itself. Yes, it is. Vicky Caligari inbound pass over to Senegal, and it's out of bounds. We still need a winner for the uh, pickle Polish sausage. One of the clowns helping on the inbound pass. Over to Joe Baker, intercepted by Mickey Caligiri. Hook pass over to Michelle Dufault. Oh, nice bounce, pass. Bounce pass to Glodzik up for two points. 51 to 45 in favor of the faculty. 6.35 now left in the fourth period. Michelle Dufour up for two, but denied. Brian Glodzik, no good. Back to Brian. Two points. <laughs> Whoa. He made it look easy on that one. He sure did. 53-45. Favor of the faculty, 621 left in the fourth period of this first game between the town officials and the West Rutland School faculty with able-bodied assistance by recent graduates. <laughs> I think that's the key, because I... I think it might be part of the key. Looks Town like officials looking uh, very harried. You can tell it's tax time. Tired even, Peter. Tired <laughs> That's even. That's right. Dan Pratt's hanging on to his arm. Gave up that... Uh, Trying to hold himself up. Yes. And it didn't work. No. <laughs> Dick Daly is looking uh, statistically at how to put on that... Uh, yellow jersey. Coach Pat with her hands full trying to keep this town official team looking official. Now she tried to get Dick over to sidelines to give Dick some uh, instructions here but didn't work. Uh oh. Here comes the clowns. Seven, seven, six, zero, one. Five. I can't understand why the players don't see the humor in these clowns. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be taking this game a little more seriously than they might otherwise. Either that or they're too tired to laugh. Yeah, they're, they're I'm just, not sure. Yeah, I think that is a big part of it, Bob. Bob Garrick feeling the pressure. Absolutely. Eddie Bull. Over to Mickey Caligari, inbounding the ball. 5.49 left in the fourth period. 53 to 45 ball game. Five, six, three. John Center with an attempted assist on that one. <laughs> Looks like he was overruled by Mr. <laughs> Densmore. Something about being on the wrong side of the backboard. Dennis Lincoln in the corner. Bounce pass intercepted by Eddie Bowe. 
We have a winner for the Alpine slide. Dick Daly bounce pass into Paul Cooley. Turn around, no good. No good. Bove with a rebound. The cynical. Oh. <laughs> and Paul Kulik's got, got the ball. He's had a great ball game tonight. Nice pass, but nobody home on that one. No hustle there at all, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Some of the players slowing down ever so noticeably. Over to Michelle Dufault. The Kilbasi is 7 7. Thank you, Kelly Jerry. 5 6 1. Into Eddie Bove, and it's a layup. Bove almost with his own rebound. A lot of effort went into tonight's festivities, Bob. Uh, and it's great to see what a turnout we have here at West Rutland. Fantastic turnout. I think the crowd is enjoying this game, and they're going to enjoy the next one as much as they've enjoyed this one. Well, it's great seeing those local, uh, the local color going out and enjoying themselves in a basketball game. Yes, it is. Even though tomorrow they're going to hurt. <laughs> and the next day. <laughs> Mike Senegal. From the corner, two yeah, shots. Yeah, no problem oh, there. Swish. Beautiful shot. Bobby Garrick bringing it up for the town officials. 53-45 now in the final period. Eddie Bow with a rebound. Looks like he's going all the way. Passes oh. off to... Over to Senegal and in for two. Senegal's been hot. Yes, he has. And he brought them up to a 10-point lead now over the town officials. Dufour in for the press. And inbounded to Bobby Garrick. And a lot of hustle under the boards for that rebound. Dennis Lincoln playing the key part under there. Uh-oh. The teachers are calling for reinforcements. I think that's the key to this game, Peter. Those teachers had a, a good, deep bench there. Yes, they do. A lot of strength on all of their teams that they brought in this evening. Mac Kramars intercepts. John Center calling a travel on that. He was walking, he was walking, unbelievable. No problem hearing John tonight. There we go, now it's cleared up. Bob Garrick picks up that Oh, he ball. waits for an opening, and he's fouled on the play. Tosh Stickney, I think, was the foul. <laughs> what John Center signal? Five ball shots? Is that what he? Said? Yeah, the first one in or something like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mama Jody's calling John Center off the floor. When she ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> In and out for Bob Garrick. That's the second fall shot. Now we're on the third one, Peter. He hey, missed it, huh? Ah, oh, he missed that, that one. Little discussion going on on the sidelines. You know what? <laughs> Here comes the fourth fall shot. Bobby Almost. That one. He's getting closer. They're going to give him yet another try. That's all she wrote. Was Cronin bringing the ball inbound for the teachers, looking for an opening over to Bobby Kennedy, back to Cronin. Outside to Rick Hart, he's looking for three points. Dennis Lincoln with the rebound. I think rebound. you should give me a shot next time. John Center looking to get actively involved in the ball game. We have a 57 to 52 in favor of the teachers. Bob Checker Parkman under the boards twice, no good. Dennis oh, Lincoln up with it, go. and it's a good two points. 54 to 57, a three point difference between these teams with three minutes to go. Town officials have done a good job at narrowing that 
margin held by the teachers. It was a 10-point ball game now, down to three points. 2.57 left in the ball okay. game. I'll take it up for you. Okay. John Center takes the ball out for the town officials. I guess he's made the decision that they're getting tired and they need some assistance. <laughs> John's calling for a play. We have a winner. Everybody over here. That might be why the town officials are going in circle. Everybody over here. Center over to Daly and rebound from Kramer. <laughs> Ricard bringing the ball in and playing soccer with it. Cronin saving it before it goes nice. out, out of bounds. Nice save. Whoa. Rebound hard and stuck. <laughs> in full. <Full> shot. <laughs> oh, no, one shot. One shot, Mr. Hart. Oh, yeah. He didn't really mean that. He just kind of was in another catch him. It's nice to see that John Center still maintains a degree of respect for his elders and calls Mr. Hurt, Mr. Hurt. Passes him a little bit on the line. Hart with his own rebound. He got two shots. See that? There, Liz Cronin up for two. Parkman to Paul Cooley. Jody Poljasic having a little discussion with John Center. Bob Garrick. Two minutes left in the ball game. Garrick. No good. Rick Hart with the rebound. Now I know who that clown is with the crutches. <laughs> that's a violation that's getting up the court too quickly. That way. Center calling the teachers for getting inbounding too fast. I suspect John wants to get that score a little bit closer than five points here. Liz Cronin intercepts. an incredibly good ball handler. Yes, she is. Inbounding the pass to no one. Looks to be a little football holding action out These there. passes are getting longer and longer, Bob, as the players want to run perhaps less and less. We might have to start calling for four pointers. <laughs> Do you get the feeling, Peter, that maybe we're favoring the uh, town officials here in the last couple of minutes? Not a thrown in, looking like she's playing for the Buffalo Bills. Well, she did a nice job of helping to break up that play. And the town officials are giggling, so uh, they do have a humorous <laughs> side to them left. Oh, intercepted by Matt Kramer. He's Liz Cronin. Not many people coming down court anymore. <laughs> town officials are all at our end of the court now. Yes, they are. They're watching this game along with us here on Channel 15. Rickard just puts another two points in for the teachers. And we have a seven-point difference. Big Daly deal. inbounding the ball. To Dennis Lincoln. Dennis drives. Oh, passing into Bobby Garrick. And it's oh, in for two. what a nice, nice little layup there by Bobby And Garrick. it's a two-point ball game with one minute left to go. We're back to a two-point game, ladies and gentlemen. I suspect that there was a little hanky-panky on the uh, clock there or with the scorekeepers. <laughs> Two minutes ago there was seven points and only one basket scored and now it's a two point difference. That's okay. Must be the new math, Bob. I think so. I, I was always confused by that new math. I was <laughs> taught still by, am. J Joe Zawistowski was my math teacher. And he taught me the old math and it still works. But. Maybe they were just adding up the number of foul shots Bobby Garrick was taking earlier in the game. Yeah, I think you're probably right. They gave him a point for every attempt. Something like a handicap. <laughs> Intercepted by Dennis Lincoln. Oh, John Center's got it, but not for long. <laughs> 38 seconds to go. A lot of interesting calls now. Bobby Garrick's all alone. Up two oh, points yeah. right from the corner. What a shot. And the town officials are up by one somehow with a half minute to go. And a steal. I think the teachers need a timeout. Garrick calling for his team to go downtown. Timeout. Oh, they can't call a timeout. 
62-61 now, 25 seconds left in the ball game. Jody right Pichas, Bobby. And I just know it. Right. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. Scenario, 25 seconds to go. Home team, the town. The excellent town has got 62. Teachers with their overkill. Jock, 61. Pat Lawhead's getting right into the announcing here. Yes, Peter. he is. I don't know. We we might just get off the air and listen to him. Tom Ballin, Tom Ballin. They're going to freeze the ball. They're going to give it a Dick shot. Dick Daly taking it out. Give it bounded to Kulik. Stop. Over to Daly. Daly into Lincoln, intercepted by Brian Blodzik. Brian to Hart, to Hart, and it's no it's good. 20 Paul seconds Kulik. left now, it's still ahead by one, the town officials. Outbounding the ball to Daly, over to Garrick, and Garrick's in it's for the in layup. for two. two points. 64 to 61, town officials. Oh, it's getting physical now. It seems like we've had five minutes of action, but the clock has not moved. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it appears to be slightly slow. I was going to say retarded, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think Brian Blodzik's goatee has probably matured him so that he's been able to dump in a few extra points tonight. What do you think, Peter? That is possibly a factor in this ball game. In and out for Rick Hart. The teachers need this bucket. Oh. I think they're going to give him shoot until you make it. We're down to 17 seconds now on the clock. West Roland Carnival. I mean the West Roland uh, <laughs> basketball game. Here comes Rick again. And it's in. Nice shot. Hey, all of a sudden it's tied up 64 to 64. There's no telling how many points they'll give you per basket in this game. Over to Parkman, and it was obviously a trick pass. We're out of time. And it was a tie game. 64 to 64. What a wonderful way to end this spectacular event. Great game played by both the West Rutland teachers and the West Rutland town officials. We expect the officials to sleep that one off until at least <laughs> midday Saturday. At least. Well, I can see here on the uh, bench that we're sitting on, Peter, there are a number of West Rutland Rotary and individuals here ready to uh, get out and do battle. West Rutland Rotary looking very sharp, Bob. Absolutely. Brand new uniforms for the game. Compliments of Gigi Corsones, I think. Did a great job on the uniforms. Hopefully he'll do just as great a job on the game itself. 